C. Lindelof videos, calculus, the product rule number three. I'm going to go through this again, just make sure we kind of get our strategy here. Our strategy here for using the product rule is to recognize this rule and to have this memorized. So DDX, the derivative, the slope of one function times another function, can be written as a rule that says f of x, the first function, times the derivative of the second function, plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. It sounds like crap, but it's something that we can put away for sure. So let's just try that. The first thing I'm going to do, let's take a function here. So let's take y is equal to negative 2x to the fourth minus 3 times negative 2x squared plus 1. You could, if you wanted to, you could expand this out using FOIL or binomial expansion and then use some or difference rule. But that would be an enormous pain in the neck. So it would probably be easier to do this. So this is what I'm going to do. Remember, we're looking for the derivative. And the derivative can be said ddx of something. We can say dy dx. We can say f prime. Or we can just call this y prime. The derivative of y is y prime. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to start to build my little list. This is key to having success here. So I'm going to name my first function f of x. And I'm going to name my second function g of x without regard to what this is called, because I'm ignoring this, I'm just thinking about this piece over here to the right-hand side of the equal sign. So I'm just going to write that down. I'm going to say, okay, well, f of x is equal to negative 2x to the fourth minus 3. Then f prime at x would be what? Right? Negative 8x cubed. The first derivative of negative 3 is 0, isn't it? Then we need our g of x. So let's take this as our g of x. So we'll say, okay, g of x is equal to negative 2x squared plus 1. The first derivative of that would be g prime at x, wouldn't it? So g prime at x, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Remember, we're going to decrement, decrease this by 1. So x, so far, so good. We get here, and if we've done the two things that we're supposed to do, where those two things are, memorize this rule. Somebody's not listening to me. I know you're not. Memorize the rule and then make a list, step one and step two. If you can get that done, this thing, you, you've got this thing beaten. Because from here, all I'm going to do is fit the, fill in the blanks. It says here I need f of x. Well, f of x, I collected it here. So it's negative 2x to the fourth minus 3. And then it says after that, the directions say, that I'm supposed to multiply that by g prime at x. Well, g prime at x, you collected that here, so times negative 4x, right? This plus sign is this one. Then it says clearly in our directions that we're supposed to take g of x, which we collected here, and g of x is negative 2x squared plus 1. And then it says we're supposed to multiply that by f prime at x, which we also collected as negative 8x cubed. So negative 8x cubed. Remember, all this crap is y prime. And then all I'm going to do is clean this up a little bit. Remember, we talked a little bit about when do you have to clean it up, when don't you. If it's simple algebra that can be cleaned up, clean it up. If it becomes really intricate algebra, it's meticulous in nature. And honestly, below your, below your intellect, in my opinion, this is supposed to be productive. This is supposed to be math, not arithmetic. So... I am going to go ahead and distribute this to this. I get negative 4x times negative 2x to the fourth, which is positive 8x to the fifth, right? And then negative 3 times negative 4x is positive 12x, isn't it? And then I'm going to go ahead and multiply this over. I get negative 8 times negative 2, which is positive 16, and it's x to the fifth, isn't it? Minus 8x cubed. I'm just distributing to here now. We good? I'm going to look and see if we have anything going here, and we do, so I believe we should get, right? Remember, when we gather like terms, they have to be the same variable, same exponent. This is x to the fifth. These are x to the fifths here. We have eight of them here, 16 of them here, which is 24x to the fifths, if you will, All right? Minus 8x cubed plus 12x. And remember, that's all equal to y prime. And another way of saying y prime would be to call that dy, dx. Right? All right. Look, I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know.
Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks. Peace.